Hey everyone and welcome. So today I want to talk about unveiling the secrets of connecting with your audience for increased visibility. But first, I always like to give a life update <sighs> or maybe just a day update. Today's been crazy hectic. So had three conference calls with clients um, and their weekly conference calls. And then I had to go and watch a cat, cat sitting. I had to go walk dogs. It was 70 degrees today and it is February in Rochester. It's just bizarre to me how warm it's been, but I'm definitely not complaining. And then I just got done trying to replace a doorknob, <laughs> which for all of you handy people, it might sound really easy to do, but for me, not so much. I did not expect it to take as long as it did, but it was like this old ancient door handle and deadbolt that was painted over. So I had to like hammer at it to break it loose. Who knew there was a pin on a doorknob that you have to push in in order to pull it out? I had no idea. Like there was all these little things that I was trying to figure out along the way and I kept having to watch YouTube videos. It took me two hours. And then I got to the end and I was so proud of myself that I got this damn thing done. And then I realized that the doorknob piece, you know, the piece that goes into the wall, when it clicks shut, it was backwards. Yep. Yeah, that, that's how my day has been. <laughs> so I just stopped it. It was able to shut and lock. That's all that matters. And I will come back to it later. Just really frustrating. But anyways, so today I'm hopping on live with you in Monetize Your Passion Marketing Hub to discuss and unveiling the secrets of connecting with your audience for increased visibility. Sorry, my phone's going off. I figured I'd go live now because my makeup's done. My hair is kind of done <laughs> because my husband's taking me out for Taco Tuesday. Okay, so as a small business owner myself, there's one key factor that I have found which often determines success or failure understand your audience. So in a world filled with all of these different preferences, demographics, behaviors, tailoring your business strategy to meet the needs of your specific audience can really truly make all of the difference in your business. So this live stream is of course based on a blog post and I'm going to share with you why knowing your audience is crucial for small business owners and how it can significantly boost your visibility. So the first part of it is personalized experiences really build that connection. So it's really important to create a personalized experience for your customers beginning, be, and it begins with knowing who they are, right? So, oh, and my cat's jumping on my back. Uh, okay. When you understand your audience's preferences, their interests, their pain points, you can really tailor your products, services, and marketing strategies to resonate with them on a more per personal level. So this connection that you're building, it builds that loyalty, it encourages repeat visits, like if you have a physical store, or increased engagement online, like if you're virtual, building that personalized experience through connections, um, you know, really helps boost like your Instagram views, it boosts your comments on Facebook and your connections on LinkedIn. So think more comments, more followers, more word of mouth. And that's all we really do want. Um, obviously we want more than that, but you know what I mean? The next is targeted marketing efforts. So knowing your audience enables you to develop those targeted marketing campaigns. And instead of casting a wide net and hoping for the best or throwing whatever you can at the wall to see if it sticks, you should really focus your efforts on the channels and messaging that are most likely to reach and engage your specific audience. So do you know what platforms or social they use most? Do you know what type of marketing they enjoy? Like if you're looking at photos versus videos, which one do they like better? This not, not only optimizes your marketing budget because you know what you should be focusing on to pay for, but it also increases the likelihood of attracting customers who are generally interested in what your business has to offer. So right now, because I'm kind of transforming my content marketing strategy, I'm really testing the market um, on Instagram. So like I have really seen a huge difference and I know everyone has over the last couple of years where I could post these beautiful photos on Instagram 
and it would get so many likes and comments and all that fun stuff. But now I post a photo and I get nothing. <laughs> but I post a video of me just looking at the computer screen with text over it or something, and it gets so many views. So really knowing what your audience likes is key to, you know, what you should be putting your effort towards, right? The third piece is adaptation to changing trends. Consumer preferences and trends are constantly evolving. So by staying tuned to your audience, you can adapt your business offerings and your strategies to align with current trends. Once again, like the example I just gave, um, a current trend would be videos are outperforming literally every other piece of content out there. So keeping up with current trends, whether it's embracing new technologies, adjusting your product lineup, or adopting popular marketing platforms, you know, keeping pace with your audience ensures that your small business remains relevant and appealing. And as you probably already know, videos, like I said, are outperforming every other content out there. So think reels, YouTube shorts, live streams, make sure your business is evolving to what your audience is engaging with the most. The fourth piece is feedback and improvement. So your audience holds in value, very valuable insights into what works and what doesn't for your business. So it's always important to listen to customer feedback, listen to their suggestions, use this information to make improvements and adjustments that directly address your audience's needs. So I like from firsthand experience, I see that a business that demonstrates a commitment to improvement based on what their customers tell them is really going to attract new customers, but it's also going to retain customers too. So maybe someone recently made a purchase, ask them to fill out a survey. Maybe you recently completed a service for a client, ask them to leave a review. Nine times out of 10, your audience won't think to leave a review or give feedback if you don't ask them. So it's really important to always incorporate that in your marketing message. The fifth and last thing, is community engagement. So small businesses thrive on community support, right? Understanding your local audience allows you to engage with the community on a deeper level. And I always, always encourage this with my clients. Community engagement is key, especially like me, I work for anyone globally, you know, but a lot of my clients, like they're set in a small town, they're a small business. It's really important that they show that they're part of the community, right? So thinking like sponsoring local events, participating in community initiatives and collaborating with other businesses to really strengthen those ties in the community. And a business that actively contributes to the community is more likely to attract visibility from loyal customers who truly appreciate your commitment to the local area. So even if you are a virtual service provider like me, you can always find ways to be involved in your community. Um, and this really helps build visibility. So think of joining like a local organization. So for example, like I joined AMA and I have done speeches and I've really networked with people in the community in that sense. But I also run the local Rochester Wonderful Hub. Um, so I connect with women who love to travel, but I mean, even though it's like just something fun to do, like it really does give me an opportunity to connect with others in my local area and network with them. So those are the five things, um, you know, in a community world, in a, in a competitive world of small business, the ability to connect with your audience really is a powerful tool. So knowing your audience allows you to create those personalized experiences, target your marketing efforts, effort effectively and adapt to changing trends so you can continuously improve and you can really actively engage with your community. So by leveraging these five things that I just gave you, I guarantee you as a small business owner, you can significantly increase your visibility, creating a thriving and sustainable company. So I highly suggest you take the time to understand your audience because it might just be the key to unlocking that success that your business so deserves. And if you are ready to transform your small business into a visibility magnet, I would love to work together to unlock the full potential of your efforts. So I actually have 90-minute intensives 
which allow me to act as a dedicated business consultant for just a fraction of the price as if you were to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So it's $3.97 for a 90-minute intensive, and that price is not going to last much longer. So I would love to really, truly work with you, find out how we can lock, unlock content marketing to change the way you interact with your audience. So I'm going to leave the link below to schedule a consultation call with me. Um, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I hope you got a lot from this video. So it's so great to talk to you guys today. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.